First though, brand new Friday for you. Okay, July 27th, morning sunshine, I'm Robin Mead, and we're gonna start with development. A big health alert that a lot more people are sick because of contaminated salads, or what they thought was, at McDonald's. The CDC says 286 people reported to be now we've reached out to the man who fired the weapon and we've not heard back. Cross country here, that was in Florida. Now we go to, I at least not anytime soon. Now, if you haven't done it already, sign up to be an HLN deals. You know, does this mean that you better gulp that drink down fast before the straw gets all soggy and limp? Because it won't be a plastic straw anymore, at mm -hmm. least at Disney. What else? Good morning. Yeah, good morning. And this is with the latest company to say, all right, we're done with the plastic straws. Everybody's got to figure it out. So hopefully either there's going to be these paper straws that are better by then, or, you know, somebody in this room has introduced me to the silicone straw, which you can put in the dishwasher. Oh, yeah. It's pretty okay. nice. I get it. Of course, the whole point, you've heard about this by now, is that it's going to be in a lot less plastic in the world's landfills and oceans, not to mention the Birds, animals' throats. tummies. Exactly. Yeah. So starting the middle of next year, you will have to BYOS, bring your own straw if that's what you do, unless they've got one by then. And Disney says they're also going to try to cut back on plastic shopping bags and stirs. You have to bring your own straw? Cups. Or they'll have a cardboard one. Well, we're going to find out. We got a whole year. We gotta, you, don't panic. panic. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> got a second change for the child when they, you know, mess themselves. I've got this. I forgot the straws. Yeah. Can you imagine? <laughs> so now I got enough to deal with. <laughs> you can't. So Delta and American will both let you bring one bag on. <laughs> Which, really, if you wanted the base rate, uh, what, are you supposed to go naked once you get there? Bikini and a toothbrush. That's it. <laughs> She's packed that before. That's all. And a passport. And a passport. <laughs> Can't you not? She's so adventurous. Okay. All right, still to come. 041. Sorry, I was just talking with Dr. Gupta. And here's why we're talking, because there's a lot of excitement and hope surrounding a new experimental drug, because it could treat Alzheimer's disease. That doesn't happen very often. But it's not on the market yet. So why might this be what people say a medicine of, it, it could be the holy grail, if in yeah. fact it does lessen your symptoms with early onset Alzheimer's anyway. You're the neurologist. Good morning. Good morning. Um Neurosurgeon. Yeah, you know, th three extra years of training. I got to get credit for that. Yeah, right. right? Statement around this, as you said, it's really early. What we're talking about is a is a uh, medication known as Band 2401. It's going to change its name. If it's some of the best results we've seen, but that was in just about 160 patients who that. That's the next step. It tells you how heartbreaking that disease is because this isn't a cure. No. This is excitement just about the possibility yes. of lessening the severity and the quickness. That, that that's absolutely right. And so. And that's all. Five medicines. That's all. Only three approved over the last. And you know, again, there's, there's this amyloid plaques in the brain. We see. All right, thank you so much. So how many years away if, in fact, things do go well? Is this, it's at least three to five years. Possibility, what a development. Yeah, right. we'll keep an eye out. Thank you. We'll be back. All right, <laughs> I hope you will. Don't go anywhere, sir. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> I want to wish you a good morning. It is Friday. Doesn't Friday feel good? Friday, July 27th. I'm Christy Paul. Uh, as you see. Now let's go to near Yosemite National Park. Thousands of people have been forced to leave their homes. The Red Cross is there. And with us from that organization now is Steve Walsh. Steve, thank you so much for being here and for the work the Red Cross is doing there. Um, first of all, can you help us understand what the most urgent need is right now? Well, we... Uh he did not know ahead of time about that meeting his son had with Russians at Trump Tower back in 2016. A triathlete is used to fighting. So an exclusive investigation by CNN has found that the pharmaceutical giant Bayer paid doctors big money related to a birth control device. Uh, and now some women say that the device has caused them horrific health problems. CNN senior medical correspondent Elizabeth Cohen has uh, one woman's story. So Elizabeth Cohen is with us now after all, the, all that she's done to, to bring this to light. Help us understand lawsuits possible here? Yeah. Yes, there have been lawsuits as of and that's just as of January. And Bear has just come out and said, you know what, we're expecting more. They are expecting more. Yeah. All right. Boy, Elizabeth, thank you. Thank Thanks. you. Great report. Uh, police are searching for missing college students. NFL training camps are open this week when <laughs> dreams are made or, or broken <laughs> for yeah. a lot of players. So, yeah, you, you have, you're having some memories, Your some flashbacks. flashbacks right now, right? <laughs> That's exactly right. So, um, you know, in, in... There are some stories that surely you're going to be talking about today. First of all, <laughs> these... 
besides these two. <laughs> and they're yeah, antics. They're antics. But three kids and a random act of kindness. Watch this. Much good in the world. The owner of that wallet was so impressed that he posted the surveillance video, which has gotten around pretty fast. More than 111,000 likes oh. on Facebook so far. And mm. <laughs> Mom and Dad must be so proud. Yeah. Oh, my gosh, yes. That's yes. my kid. Okay, guys. <laughs> Actor Seth Rogen has a new gig. <laughs> that signature <laughs> Seth Rogen laugh, right? So TransLink says writers will begin hearing Rogen's voice on the rails in the coming weeks. So and you have to wonder what he's going to say oh and what God. they'll let exactly. him say. What they'll let him well, say. Exactly. I know, because they're going to have to... Parties. Love his work. Right. Love oh, that story. I have morning. a good story. Fink had the best, yeah. most attractive yeah, accent. So number one was Texas. What, what, what? Texas? What's up, y'all? Melissa one. Knowles and Matthew of McConaughey, course. the best Texas and, accent. Oh, and right? Hank, don't forget Hank Hill. Yeah, Hank Hill as well. Wolf, the, wolf that boy hit right. Don't <laughs> <laughs> think meteorologists are <laughs> smart mouth. <laughs> you also have uh, New York and Boston. They actually tied for second place, okay, believe it or not. Bob. And the survey found that people There's from Boston. There's no accent. Oh, oh, this guy. Guy. oh you, you guys have the accent. I don't okay. know what you're talking about. That Boston accent, though, that was actually rated the strongest meaning. Oh, man, my oh come on. Like, did, did you miss <laughs> any of it? I did. I'm getting a little excited. I <laughs> Stasia Lee, some of his tips and tricks. So we talk about that and more. And the full segment is going to air right here on HLN. We just want to give you a sneak peek of, for a fun Friday uh, feel-good story for you. That's awesome. Yeah. You, did it. you did a great job. Thank you. You can still be out there. You can still be out there, no doubt about it. Uh, right, yeah. Absolutely. A calf. Yeah. Yeah. Very true. A calf. Very true. Forget about it. Y'all are so much fun. I love it. <laughs> yeah. Good Friday. Yeah. Good Friday time. I'm Christy Paul. Happy Friday to you, and thank you for watching Across America with Carol Costello. Starts right now.